Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C Zook Stitch and today I wanted to do a flip through of this book I got recently for my birthday. You can find it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's called The Magic of Christmas to Cross Stitch, French Charm for Your Stitch Work. And it's just a really beautiful book and so I wanted to share it with you and show you what types of patterns were in it. So the, the, the book is in English. Let me start with the preface here. Um, and it just gives you some little designs. What's in this book is all um, just little designs and then they give you some finishing ideas as well. So what's nice, especially for flip throughs, is that they give you the list of projects and then they give you the patterns at the back and then some techniques and tips on how to do some finishing and how to stitch. So first up, we have the projects. Okay. So this first one is called Holly Wreath and Candies. And this is what it looks like. These are very detailed pieces with a lot of back stitching, but they are very, very sweet. Now you'll notice throughout the book, they'll have these little advent numbers. Um, so at the end, you can stitch them all and then you end up with an uh, advent calendar. But that detail on the faces is just the back stitching. This one is called First Snowfall. I really love these. I really, really love these. Old time. Um, so you'll see there's two and three there, but this one. But they're just so sweet. So I'm going to give those a try. This one is called Toy Shop Window, and this is a really large one. So some of the words on the stitching itself you can see is in French, but the actual instructions over here are all in English. Okay. This is called Letter to Santa. Another very sweet one. So I love that little nail box, this little stamp up here. Santa's sack. So this is a finishing idea to put them on a large bag. So I think in Europe they use sacks for gifts from Santa. So you can see kind of how big some of those pieces could be. And they don't have to be, but depending on what size fabric you use. This is called St. Nicholas, and then they give you a recipe for some cookies in here as well. So this is the piece, and it's just so intricate and detailed. Oh, I love this one. Getting the Christmas tree. I love this so much. So I love this piece, but I also really love that they have all the trees up there. So what you could do is you could stitch this piece and then as a background to show that they're in a forest collecting their tree, you could stitch a bunch of these trees. I think that'd be really, really beautiful. This next section is called Santa's Workshop. So you have elves getting ready for Christmas. You have Santa's suit right there getting ready. Busy workshop. This is called My Lovely Tree. Another very sweet, very sweet detailed piece. Evergreen wreaths. So this is just a bunch of different wreaths that you can use as cards, maybe, if you stitch cards or ornaments. So here's their suggestion is that you make them into ornaments. This is called Reading Christmas Stories. I just love this one, too. I want to stitch this one. So you can see the little children reading the stories, and then there's Santa up there. You 
Could you imagine that on like a dark kind of navy fabric? That would be so sweet. This is called Animals Celebrate Christmas. So a lot of your little forest animals. You got your teddy bears that spell out Noel. You have your robins, your little mice, and your deer. This next one is simply called Caroling, and I think it's very, very sweet. Again, with the little birds and the little children. This one is called Christmas Decorations. There's a lot I think you can do with this. So you see the ornaments up here. You see the little bird or the dove. Again, this would be great if you do Christmas cards. You could stitch just a simple ornament on the front of the, the card or the stocking, and then your card is ready to go, or gift tags, anything like that. Oh, and on here, they, they did it on a stocking. There's another option. This section is called Dreaming of Toys. So there's the little kid asleep, dreaming of a sailboat, dreaming of some dolls. This one, tree of treats. So look at this. This tree is just full of different breads and candies. Isn't that neat? So if you like to bake or anything, that would look great in your kitchen at Christmas time. This one's called Christmas Eve. So you have Santa packing up his bag, getting ready to deliver the toys. And then this one is so sweet, um, hanging the stocking by the tree. And then they're looking for Santa out the window. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. I hope, hope you can see me okay. This one is called Christmas Morning. This one is really sweet. It says Joya Noel. And then there's the kids with all their packages. Lots of detail in that. Lots of color changes, I bet. Okay, so here's the advent calendar I was telling you about. Um, so this will give you an idea of scale. And then over here is a suggestion on how to make, to stitch the little pockets and then fill them with candy or little toys. And then here's a close up. And then they give you a few different alphabets so you can personalize anything. So these sweet alphabets with the holly leaves and then a smaller uppercase and then a lowercase alphabet as well. Great for monogramming. This section is called Merry Christmas. Again, it's smaller pieces. Look at, I really like this one, it's so sweet. And it's just a lovely, lovely book to look at. It reminds me of growing up and some of the items I had as a child. This is called Happy New Year, which I think is really neat that they include the New Year as well as Christmas in here. So it's it's kind of includes that, which I think is neat and you don't see too often, I don't feel. And then this shows you how you can make a greeting card if you wanted to use some of the pieces. And look at this, this piece, this is really unique. This is actually the envelope that they stitched it on. So it's very unique. And then it moves into the patterns, which I'm not going to show you. Um, but the patterns, they don't give stitch counts. You know, some of them are easily 100 by 100, 150. Some of the smaller ones are maybe 34 by 40. That's the advent calendar ones. Uh, so, And it's all in color, so it's very easy to read. It's in chart it for DMC and then at the end they give you techniques and tips section 
So they teach you how to cross stitch and do any other stitches, quarter, half stitches or quarter stitches, back stitching, all that. They tell you what accessories you need, what type of fabric. And then they do give you some instructions on how to make the Santa sack, how to make the uh, ornaments and all that. And then they even have a template for the stocking in the back, if you can see that. So, and then here's the back of the book. So this is the book. It's beautiful, all in color, really lovely to look at. I know it's not Christmas season, but, you know, in another few months, we might be starting to think about stitching for Christmas season. So I highly recommend, I think it was around $17 or $18 on Amazon. I will link it down below for you. So that's all I have for this video. Take care. Bye-bye.